On this trip around the county, we take a look into a parade that's getting Hoosiers in the holiday spirit and learn about the musical talent of one student at NHS. All this and more on this trip around the county. Welcome to Around the County. I'm Dana Belmer. And I'm Donna Unger. On Around the County, we take you to places you may have never been and introduce you to people you may not know. Every year at this time, lights fill downtown Noblesville in preparation for the holiday season. But for one day this year, those lights will be riding around town spreading holiday cheer at the city's holiday and lights parade. Producers Aubrey Griffin and Chloe Bass take us downtown as they ride along with a holiday tradition that's making a great comeback. The holiday spirit is in the air in Noblesville. Lights are twinkling all around downtown. But for one day this year, those lights will be on the move, riding around town at the city's holiday and lights parade. Prior to COVID, the Christmas parade was a holiday staple for the Noblesville community. The event went away, but it's back this year with a few changes. For Noblesville Mayor Chris Jensen, one change was the time and date of the parade. When Jensen was young, he never had the chance to experience the parade, so it was very important that the parade was available for everyone in the Noblesville community. It's funny, actually, growing up, we were cult season ticket holders, and it used to be on Sunday afternoon after Thanksgiving, and we were always usually at the Colts game. So, to be honest with you, I didn't grow up going to the Christmas parade. But that was part of the reason that inspired me the last couple of years to think outside the box, and then to reinvent the Christmas parade and have it back downtown, because I wanted it to be at a time that was you know, more conducive to, to families, and it had more excitement around it and draw more attention to it. For the city, the bright and colorful floats are exciting, but the city's community relations manager Lexi Rock says the parade has a bigger goal to bring the community together. The event will connect various local businesses and community members including this year's Grand Marshals. A lot of people are very excited for the decorations that they are going to be putting on there and we're really encouraging people to put as many lights as you can, deck it out and just go all out and we're excited that this is an opportunity for the community to come together and celebrate the holidays, get in the spirit and be downtown Noblesville. Throughout the past year, Noblesville has brought home a number of state championships, teams that are worth celebrating. So the city chose these teams as this year's Grand Marshals. For girls soccer captain Sydney Elliott, being at the front of the parade is not just about spreading holiday cheer. It's a final bonding moment for a team she loves. I'm really excited to be in the parade because I'm going with my soccer team after we've won state the past two years. So it's really fun. It's kind of just another team bonding event. And as a senior, I might not see these girls for a while. On the night of the parade, December 2nd, bright and colorful floats fill downtown. But for some participants, something else filled the air besides holiday cheer. For the fire department, it's a long-standing rivalry with the city's police department. And the firemen are hoping to light up the competition this year. Well, we're going to cheat. So we're going to use our fire truck. Uh, so we're, we're going to have an engine in the uh, in the parade where we have 2,000 lights we're stringing on it. And then we ordered uh, snow makers to blow snow off the sides of the truck. And then we've got a big speaker. We're going to play Christmas music. Then behind that, we're going to have our families walking, handing out glow-in-the-dark necklaces and candy canes. We're competing with the police, and we're pretty used to winning. The parade offers more than just what meets the eye. Besides the floats and the lighting, the city wants the parade to be a true holiday experience. Any at Federal Hill Commons so family and community members can experience all the holiday magic. Lights, ice skating, and a very special guest. There's a lot more that goes into playing the parade than just saying we're having a parade. Come join, come watch it. And the parade is going to end at Federal Hill Commons, so we will have Santa there to meet parade goers, and then people can just go from Santa to the walking lights tour and then over to the ice skating rink. So, just to bring people together and bring them downtown to celebrate the holidays. I hope you and your friends and your family all come out and join us for a wonderful holiday and lights. Come out and enjoy the wonderful parade in downtown Noblesville. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. 
Music plays an active role in many students' lives. However, there's always a story behind the notes. Follow along with producers Alexa Mitchell and Jess Lawrence as they introduce us to a vocalist at NHS with a fascinating story about where she's from and where she's headed next. It's a part of who she is, helping people who need it. She volunteers in every way she can, from performing in local musicals to singing for both the Hispanic and English service at her church. Why? Because she loves it. Sophomore Sabrina Lara moved to the United States from Venezuela with her family in 2010. While she may not have lived in South America for long, the rich culture of that beautiful country is still a huge part of her daily life. There's also a lot of good food, like really good food. and. A lot, like all my family lives down there, so it's always really nice seeing family and it's like a party every time we see them, but it's really fun. Music can be an incredible coping mechanism for people, and that's true especially for Lara. She started singing at a young age and has been inspiring people with her voice ever since. Well, I just love singing it because I've been singing for a really long time and it's just really fun. I feel like I can just express myself and like a song can really just like help me express my emotions. Both music and her Venezuelan culture are active parts of her life. One of her friends, Corinne Mitchell, has noticed how she's able to combine both by singing in the Hispanic ministry at White River Christian Church. She invited me um, to like go and watch um, her sing one time, and ever since I came that first time, we've been coming like every weekend since because it's just so beautiful. I love it there. Lara's influence and positivity is contagious and clear to everyone around her. Joe Brockmeyer is the student ministry vocal coordinator at White River and has known her voice and character for years. Her voice is just is just really mature for her age. Um, so she's got a really um, soulful voice and she every time she sings it. Technique wise um, she's able to take deeper breaths which allows her to sing um, longer passages and do um, a little bit more with her voice. Week in and week out, Lara pours herself into helping other people and into her desire to bring both music and her Venezuelan culture together. Her compassion is an inspiration to the people around her, but she's also been deeply inspired herself. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. My sister definitely influences me the most. She loved singing when she was younger, and I wanted to be like her, so I just loved singing with her, and we would always make little videos of us singing together. And then from there, when I moved to Indiana, I joined a choir in elementary, and I've been doing choir and singing since first grade. It's her constant positivity. She just brings a joy to the room, and it's, it's, it's really great. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Sabrina, so yeah, she's a great girl. That's all for this episode of Around the County. I'm Dana Belmer. And I'm Donna Unger. Join us next time for another trip Around, around the, the County. county.